Today, I would like to take some time to teach you about ancient Greece. However, before we go back in time, let's talk about what the country of Greece is like today. Greece is a country located in Europe off the Mediterranean Sea. The capital of Greece is Athens, and there are about 3 million people who live there. In Greece, they speak Greek, and they have for thousands of years. However, the language has changed some throughout the years. This is how people say hello today. Yasu. The Greek language uses a different alphabet than English. Their words look much different than ours. Greek people are very proud of their heritage. They value their ancient history and have protected many of the ancient buildings and artifacts that represent their ancient society. This is the Parthenon. This is one of the most famous ancient ruins in Greece today. The ancient Greeks built it to honor and worship the god Athena. Most of the ancient ruins that survive today were built to honor Greek gods. Greek culture was centered around their religion. They had numerous gods that they worshipped for different reasons. The Greeks believed that their gods were human-like with special powers. They also believed that different gods and goddesses were in charge of different aspects of life. For example, Poseidon was the god of the sea, and this temple, built right off the Aegean Sea, was in honor of Poseidon. Another example is in the Delphi ruins. This temple was built in honor of the god Apollo, god of the sun. One can just picture the ancient Greeks coming up here to worship the god who brought light into their world. This large hill is known as Acre Corinth, as it looks over Corinth, Greece. This hill was not only used as a military fortress and lookout in Greek history, it also contains the temple of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. It is a very high hill, and the enemies of Greece had quite an uphill battle to get to the top. The Greeks believed that all the gods resided on Mount Olympus. They believed that occasionally the gods would come down from this mountain to meddle in the affairs of men, but their home was considered at the top of this mountain. The top of this mountain is certainly majestic and is one of the only mountains in the area standing out as an obvious home for the gods and goddesses. Today, people still consider it a feat to climb to the top. Another aspect of ancient Greek culture included an intense love of theater. This theater remains intact today and the original sound acoustics can still be used. A simple talking voice on stage can be heard all the way at the top. In addition to theater, the ancient Greeks were very dedicated to sports. In fact, the idea for the modern day Olympics is based on the games played at Olympia, Greece during ancient times. These games were played every four years and they included all different types of sports that would show the superiority of athletes. In an island off of Greece called Crete, ancient Greeks even participated in bull jumping as a sport. Here is a painting that has survived to this day representing this sport. Not only did Greeks preserve their culture through architecture of buildings and the playing of sports, they also focused on creating beautiful pieces of art. Here is a pottery basin that you could stand inside of. Today, Greece continues to be a beautiful place full of unique culture, fantastic places, and lively features. The people continue to be religious. However, instead of worshiping ancient Greek gods, the people of Greece are primarily Christian Greek Orthodox. This is a picture of a monastery built hundreds of years ago, instead of thousands of years ago, and it is still in use today by Greek Orthodox monks. Greeks today continue to value their ancient society and they preserve ancient ruins as a constant reminder to them of where they came from.